hello everyone how to solve this problem for the values of k if we have 4 to the power of k plus 3 to the power of k is equals to 91 and we solve this problem for all the values of k but here you remember one thing is that uh, our k should must be belongs to positive integer it means that uh, we just solve this problem for positive integral values of k so here the very first thing we are going to do is first we need to multiply and divide the exponent of both of these terms by 3 uh, so it will be written as 4 to the power of k into we write it as 3 by 3 and plus in the same pattern here we multiply the exponent of this term is also 3 by 3 is equals to 91 and further uh, you see here we move uh, the term 1 over 3 inside uh, the term and it will be written as 4 to the power of k over 3 and its whole power 3 plus in the same pattern we move this 1 over 3 inside the term and it will become 3 to the power of k over 3 and its whole cubed is equals to 91. And uh, further in the next step, uh, here we just convert this uh, exponential equation into the uh, cubic form. Uh, for this, we need to take here our uh, x is equal to 4 to the power of k over 3 and we will take our y is equal to 3 to the power of k over 3. So when we substitute these two values into the above uh, equation so that our above equation is converted into cubic form so when you put this value here it will becomes x cube plus when you put this here it will becomes y cube is equals to 91 and here you see that in the left hand side we have this is the uh, cubic formula and we know about that it is equals to x plus y times of uh, x square minus x y plus y square and this is equals to 91 here you see that in the left hand side we have two factors are multiplied by each other but in the right hand side we have only one factor so we need to make the uh, factors in the right hand side so we uh, write uh, we make the factors of 91 as one time of 91 is equals to 91 and uh, the second factor is 7 times of 13 is also equals to 91 so here we have these two possibilities uh, in which we get the product of two numbers is equals to 71 it means that we divide or we convert this equation into the two cases the first case is uh, we compare these two factors with these two numbers and it will be written as x plus y is equals to 1 and x square minus x y plus y square is equals to 91 this is the first case and now here first we need to solve the first case uh, so here we call this is equation number one this is equation number two and we focus on equation number one and here we move this x to the right hand side and it will becomes y is equals to one minus x and we call this is equation number three so we put this value of y in equation number two so that equation number two is implies that this is our <coughs> x square minus x times of y the value of y is one minus x plus this is y square the value of y is one minus x square is equal to 91. so here we need a little bit simplifications and uh, it will be written as x square minus x plus x square plus here we apply the formula and it will be written as 1 square plus x square minus 2x is equal to 91. so in the next step we need to add or subtract the like terms we have x square plus x square plus x square becomes 3 times of x square this minus 2x and minus, minus x minus 2x becomes minus 3x and here we have 1 and when we move 91 in the left hand side it will becomes 1 minus 91 is equals to minus 90 and this whole is equals to 0. So here we need to divide uh, both of the sides by 3 as on each of these terms in this way okay so when you divide by 3 it will be written as this 3 is cancelled out by this 3 
and we get x square minus this is cancelled out by this and we get x minus this is 3 times 3 becomes 9 and 0 this is 30 is equals to 0 so here we need to make the prime factors of this equation and now we can just break its middle term and it will be written as 6x plus 5x minus 30 is equals to 0 here we take common x and we get x minus 6 plus here we take common 5 and we get x minus 6 is equals to 0 and in the next step we need to take common x minus 6 from here and when we take common x minus 6 we get the remaining values are x plus 5 is equals to 0 so here we get x minus 6 is equals to 0 and x plus 5 is equals to 0 so here you easily get the value of uh, x is equals to 6 and here we get the value of x is equals to minus 5 uh, so here you see that we just solve this problem uh, for the positive integer values of uh, k okay so uh, but here we find first the value of x is negative so that we just rejected this case here because we just deal only positive values positive integer values so here we put this value of x is equals to 6 into the equation number 3 uh, so equation number 3 is implies that y is equals to 1 minus x so when you put this value here it will becomes uh, y is equals to 1 minus 6 and we have y is equals to minus 5 so we get x is equals to 6 and y is equals to minus 5 this is also negative value so uh, we just rejected this case and we can just proceed here the second case only so uh, in so now from equation number four we have uh, here we move this x to the right hand side and it will be written as <coughs> here we have this is 13 okay because in second case we have 7 and 13 times uh, becomes 91 okay so this is our 13 so here we get the value y is 7 minus x and we substitute this into the equation number 5 so that equation number 5 is implies that this is x square minus x into y the value of y is 7 minus x plus y square so y is 7 minus x squared is equals to 13 and uh, further in the next step we need more simplifications and it will be written as uh, this is x square minus 7x plus x square plus here we expand this identity it will becomes 49 plus x square minus 14x and we move 13 into the left hand side and it will become minus 13 is equals to 0. So this x square plus x square plus x square becomes 3 times of x square and minus 14 minus 7 uh, is equals to minus 21x and 49 minus 13 is equals to plus 36 and this whole equation is equals to 0 and now we divide each of these terms by 3 uh, so when we divide each of these terms by 3 it will be written as in this form and further uh, we need cancellation of the term so these are gone and you get x square minus these are gone and we get 7x plus this is 3 1 the 3 and 3 2 the 6 so we get here 12 is equals to 0 so here we need to make the uh, middle term break and it will becomes x square minus 4x minus 3x plus 12 is equals to 0 here we take common x and we get x minus 4 and we take common minus 3 and we get x minus 4 is equals to 0 so here we need to take common x minus 4 and we get x minus 3 is equals to 0. So further we divide this into the two cases. The first case is x minus 4 is equals to 0 and the second case is x minus 3 is equals to 0. So here we get the value of x is equals to 4 and here we get the value of x is equals to 3. So these are the two values of x but here uh, we move backward and we substitute in the start of the problem x is equals to 4 to the power of k over 3. Here our target is to find the value of uh, k. So you see that when you put this value of x on both of these cases it will become 4 to the power of k over 3 is equals to 4. Uh, and here we easily get the value of k is equals to you see that basis on these two terms are same we get 
k over 3 is equals to 1 and here we get the value of k is equals to 3 and uh, in the second case when you put this value of x here it will becomes 4 to the power of k over 3 is equals to 3 but you see that this cannot be gives us the integer solution uh, not gives integer solution okay so this case is not give integer solution so that we rejected this case and finally we have the final values of x in this uh, the final value of k in this case is k is equals to 3 this is the final answer thank you so much for watching this video please subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos